Hello everyone, I'm here for a layout titled Skid Loader vs. Tree. Uh, when I was up in Iowa this last July, my dad had some trees that were dead that he wanted to... I forget how we were going to take them. Chainsaw. We were going to use the chainsaw and take them down and then use cut them up and then use the skid loader to haul off the, the logs that the chainsaw cut. Anyway, and so my dad decided that, hey, I'm going to see if I can knock this tree down with the skid loader. So that is what he did. And so that's what this layout is for, those pictures. And I went ahead and did some gluing. So my main background page came from this paper pack, Colorbox pattern paper that I got from Tuesday morning. And I figured how perfect, it's tree, so wood grained paper for that particular layout. So, and then the two smaller pieces, which are eight and a half by, by three inches, came from this designer scrapbooking paper by Second Wind. It's, I also bought this from Tuesday morning. Okay, so I already glued down these two pieces. And what I did is I used this Fisker's border punch. Um, I'm guessing that it's rope because that's kind of what it looks like. So that's why I used it so it will look like a rope. I figured that would be cute. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start laying it out. So you can see how it's gonna go. Alright. My brother was testing it, saying what he said. Okay. Anyway, I don't have any photo mats. <clears throat> I'm doing just laying down the actual photos. So, because I used actually my layouts has just kind of been the to me, I wanted something different. So sometimes I get in a rut and my layouts tend to be kind of the same so I mean it's photo map pictures lay it out this way lay it out that way so I used my page maps and here I'll show you what they are give me just a second and let me run into my living room and get it I have it all in a binder okay and so, I'm um, trying to think here, who was it, who does these? I get them online at, www, at www.pagemaps.com, and they're by Becky Fleck. And so, this is what they are, and what I did is I labeled it, she has it by year, so this is all 2005s, and I have them in page protectors. So, this is what they are. And this particular one, I don't have my, actually I do have my book in here, so I could show you, here hold on, and let me get it, because I wrote down in a notebook, um, December 2008 and the second one, so let me flip over here to 2008, and then we've got the months over here, which is December 2007, but this is January. 2008 in what did I say February oh. oh December so hold on I get to December Oops. December in the second one all right so this is actually this is actually the page. Here we are. This is actually the page map that I was gonna use that I had written down to use, but I messed up. 
and actually let's see if I can the book is so big let's see if I can set it down here and then zoom oops the wrong way zoom it whoop whoopsies sorry and this one here is the one I actually used so anyway and I really like these they have all kinds of different ways to light stuff out and so you can go to pagemaps.com and get them there and she does them so I actually need to go on there and print out the rest of 2011 because I think I have I forget which month August I believe is and she even has tag maps too so I have August, September. So I actually need to go in there and do the rest of 2011. And she does, well, of course, it's January 20. This is the first month in 2012. So, she, and it's not, January isn't finished. So she won't have any yet. But anyway, enough on that. Zoom in like I had it. So that is how I did have done a few of my layouts because I just kind of get, like I said, I get doing this, laying my pictures out kind of the same, just different paper. So anyway, let me look on my gypsy because, okay, let me do my title. My title is going to go way over here. Like so. Doesn't say. Oh, my bulldog's in the living room tearing up his tire. Oops, there's my eye. Oh, bummer. Turned. Flipped. Alright, so skid. My husband went off to his skies night, so I thought, oh, usually I look, um, so when he goes out, if he, if he, not every Friday night does he go out, but if he does, that's when I take advantage and I'll do some scrapbooking. I've got such a sinus headache, so I'm going to try to finish filming the last few that I have, because it'll take, it takes a long time for it to save so skid loader is going to go on here something like that and that come from simply sweet and that's cut at an inch and i have the title tree the rest of the title on uh, a tree which is also one inch from simply sweet and then i have the verses so it's skid loader verses and so my picture needs to overlap, come down. This is going to go over here. And then I've got, um, when my dad knocked down, I believe it was this first tree, uh, I discovered that there was a, I'm like, oh my goodness, there was a nest in there. And my dad's like, no. Well, as a result, he killed three baby, I'm guessing they were woodpeckers being they were in the tree. So he killed three woodpeckers. He was like so sick to his stomach. He could not believe that they were in there. He's like, no. So I took a picture of them. I tried CPR, but it didn't work. Poor little guys. I tried to save them. I just didn't do mouth to mouth. I refused to do that. But I did do the little CPR. <laughs> And like I said, it didn't work. So <laughs> that is that. I bet he'll never do that again. Okay. So versus is gonna go over here like this. I think I had it kind of <clears throat> in the middle of this picture, sort of. But I'm gonna make it in the middle. 
Reese, your belt. Knock yourself off the table. And then I have these brads that are, I actually painted. I actually painted them brown with some brown paint. This is actually, of course, as you can see, white. And those are going to go. I have it so there's how many up here? Four. Uh oh. -uh. One, one, two, three, four. I'm missing a small one. I have five. Oh, fudge. I think I have five. I'm pretty sure I have five. And so those are going to get laid out like this, because according to the page map. I think this needs to be moved down a little bit more so it's not. So it's actually going to be put somewhere like this. I'm going to kind of space them out evenly with the picture. And then this bottom one is going to be the same. Let me tell you the my photo sizes. These two photos are three and three quarters by five and a quarter and then this little one is three and a quarter by three and a quarter my tree is from Pooh and friends and it's cut at four inches and then this journaling tag I inked around the edge put an eyelid in it and just like a green satin type ribbon or not satin I don't know silky type ribbon and it's from Gypsy Wanderings and it's cut at three and a half inches And I've gotten to wear, sometimes journaling takes up some room, so I've gotten to wear, I kind of like to hide it underneath a photo. So, and I don't think that was part of the page map. I added that. And then I think I want this line to the edge, like so. But then up enough to where my, these are small, really small. They really small brads that are gonna go here, and I'm gonna had a fifth one. A wonder, wonder, wonder where it went. I'm gonna look under my other layouts. I have yet. Oh, there! Oh, there! Hold on. Okay, I think. There they are. Alright, let me put it back in here. Alright. That was a sneak peek of another layout that I have to film. So I have five. But you know what? Four almost perfectly fits on that. But anyway, so I had five that were going to go. Well, now I do have five. They're going to go evenly spaced on the bottom here. And then I have five, which can go from which now. I can put that, I can put them on here. All right. Okay, so it's going to go there, something like that, my brides. Alright, so let's start by gluing down my title. And those are so little, I think I'm going to use this zip to way and see how it goes. I feel like that chisel point just does not uh, stick with the letter, so I'm going to try this one. Alright, here we go. Here we go. I'll do a few and then. Alright. We had a picture day at school today. It was our class picture. And this is the first time in a couple, in, I don't know, in my five years at that school, if I ever had everybody present on class picture day. Last year I was missing quite a few. And, excuse me, sorry. Oh. 
And so it, um, I had everybody there. I was so excited. And then one of my kids, last Friday we did, last Friday we had to wear jeans. Oh, well, no, last Thursday, sorry. Last, what was it? Yeah, last Thursday. I didn't think about that one. We had to wear jeans because, and then we all had to wear the same Stanton Wersdell A+, because our school was went from an A plus to a B or C back to we had changed principals and so our school um, letter grade dropped which it normally sometimes does I just lost my dot from my eye oh man anyway and so usually letter grade drops with a change of principal and so Anyway, we're back to an A-plus school, so we, our principal, got a plane, and we got, the coaches put cones on how everybody was supposed to stand, and we did a aerial, I wish I knew where my dot was, anyway, and we did an aerial of, I should get stuck on the back here, of an A plus. So we all formed, the kids all formed an A, sat to form the A, and then all the faculty and staff uh, formed the plus. So it was pretty cool. So I'm excited to see it because I wasn't, they did it before with the old principal that retired. And so um, he, they did it with him, but I wasn't there for that. So I missed out on it. So I was there for this one. So it was, it was fun. But anyway, so I made a necklace for all the kids that says we must have your child wear jeans on Thursday. And so today, well anyway, it was. So I told the kids they needed to wear jeans, and Friday's jean day anyway. But my kids told me today, oh my gosh, Mrs. Martin, you forgot to wear jeans today. You were supposed to wear jeans. And and then I'm like, nobody. Like, that was last week. I said, today is jean day. I said, but since we got pictures, we have to dress professionally. <laughs> it was cute. So cute. They, I tell you what, this class, you know, they would, you know, jump through hoops for me. It's just, they're just way sweet. I mean, there's one, they will fight. If I got a headache, they will go to my refrigerator because if they don't eat or drink something from breakfast, because we eat breakfast in our room so that way we can watch the morning announcement. Otherwise, we would have no clue what's going on. So we go back to the room and we eat breakfast. And so anyway, whatever they don't eat or drink, they put, if, you know, if it doesn't need to be refrigerated on top of my microwave, otherwise they put it and uh, otherwise they put it in the fridge and they tend to put the the uh, juices in the freezer and I tell you if I got a headache they will they will come up to me oh Mrs. Martin do you need me to go and get you a frozen juice oh my gosh yeah would you buddy and they will go and get me a frozen juice and a paper towel to put because it's really cold so my hands don't get frozen they will go and get me a paper towel and put it wrap it in the paper towel and hand it to me so I can put it on my head they're just too kind Hoss he's working at the cat <sighs> alright so anyway I was rambling and I was gonna not glue my whole title of the cat oh well Alright, so now I want, here I'm just going to take these off before I lose those two. I can't believe I lost my dot for my eye. Oh, it flipped off, I don't know where it went. And it is so small, I probably lost forever. Oh my word, hot. Wish I had my water bottle. Okay. 
Zip it. Okay. No bark. No. Oops, I can't have this too far down. <sighs> Pause. I'm telling you. Trust me, you don't want me to have to stop. Here's and this will kind of help me know where my picture is going to go to. And then my picture goes up to it. Oh my word. Grr, dog, grr. Okay, so we have that. Oh my gosh, he's gonna find me not. Hmm. Alright, hold on. I gotta go get the water bottle. I'll be back. Okay, him back. So now hopefully we won't have to listen to him bark. Alright. So. Here we go. And I looked at my page number and I realized that they have it not alongside this picture. They have it two, one, two. So that's how I'm going to do it. And then the bottom picture is with the breath going across. Okay. So I think I'm going to go ahead and glue this one, but not one side. this side. I'll put my finger on it. So that way this can get laid down. Like so. And then this, whoops, I did it. Alright, and then this one I will do next. picture. That ready for you to be stuck down just yet. Oh, that's a good boy. Hoss lay down. Okay. There's no glue on that. Next is the woodpeckers, and I need to glue all sides, but this one. So I'm do this side, and this is the bottom. And the bottom. may need to go up more. Oh, it's going to stay covered. Stop. Yeah. Okay. 
there. Okay. <laughs> it's staying there because it ripped. So what we do? I we'll just have to. I didn't want to. Oh, I guess you can see it in that picture. I just didn't cover too much on this picture. And then my tag is going to go under here, like this, and then my tray. is going to go oops, over here. To the bottom, and I inked around the tree and the trunk. Okay, and here we go. do is I just use an old mouse pad and I put my paper over my mouse pad and then you have to figure out where your brads are gonna go as far as spacing so I'm going to have them kind of in between the bottom and the picture, kind of in the middle. Oops, that one stuck to my finger. I just need to figure out the spacing. Why is it sticking to me? Alright. So I have it there. Oops. In there, and I'm going to show you how to do the first one, how I do the first one, and then I'll do the rest off camera. Alright, so this is how, oops, how they're going to be spaced. So all I do is, get back there. I moved it. Come on. Alright, that looks a little even. And then, I just want to know, it's not centered. And then you just punch it down. And you have your hole. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do the rest. And then I will be back. Alright, I'm back. And I went ahead and cut my another eye, dot for the eye. And so here is the brads on the bottom, and here are the brads on the top. Alright, and so this completes my layout, and I will take pictures so you can see. Mm -hmm. The everything in in greater detail and so I thank you for watching have a great night bye